<laughs> wow, that lighting's horrible. Hello, welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video. I didn't manage to get outside, been too busy today until it's already gone basically dark. So this is whatever tiny bit of daylight is left. I've had to put on an artificial light, sorry about this. And that always means you can't read the label, doesn't it? Shall I try again with the light off? More Bourgogne Haute Cote de Nuit today. This is a producer called Domaine Lechineau. Possibly had something from them before, I can't quite remember. And it's a 2021 vintage. I'm struggling, to be honest, to find wine merchants in the UK that I haven't already tried basically everything they have on offer, that I can fill a case of the sort of wines that I would like to drink at the sort of prices I'm prepared to pay. It always seems a bit ridiculous to just buy one bottle of wine if you're paying postage. So I try and at least fill a case of six. I'm still only interested in the Cote de Nuit, very sort of limited set of Appellation that I'm interested in, still trying to find sort of bargains, and it's getting increasingly harder. I ended up going to a merchant called Davies, who I'm more familiar with as a sort of chain of wine bars. They do online wine orders as well, and they maybe even have a shop in Greenwich. So I was just about able to scrape together six bottles of things that I thought sounded interesting, of reasonable vintages, of sort of reasonable prices, had to make a couple of compromises. Um, the website didn't work properly either, so it was a faff ordering these things. I don't think you appreciate how much, how much effort goes on behind the scenes to try and constantly buy novel, interesting bottles of Burgundy. It's hard work. Anyway, too much babble. Wine prongs feeling a bit weird. I hope these aren't gonna, yep, wine prongs broken. Oh well. Great, look at that. My trusty wine prongs. One of the prongs has fallen off. Brilliant. I found some backup wine prongs. I think I got these free with Chateau Moussard at some point. These are a bit flimsy, these free ones, as you might expect from a free pair of wine prongs. They're not the best quality. <sighs> That's very sad. That is what a broken wine prong looks like. Oh well, they have served me well. Let's hope the wine is some sort of consolation prize. Although, I don't have very high hopes. I still don't think I've had anything that I've really enjoyed from 2021 yet. And it, to be honest, I don't think I've had anything post-2020 I've really liked. Tiny, tiny whiff, that sort of icing sugar kind of smell, that didn't last long. Now getting an interesting, um, I want to say grilled red berries. <laughs> That's so bizarre. It's as though you've taken something like, um, I don't know, a sort of raspberry, cranberry and somehow grilled them a little bit that's that's bizarre yeah there is definitely something something slightly cooked there not, not exactly in a jammy way but something reminiscent of cooked fruit like the uh, you know the, the black currants and an apple and black currant pie yeah definitely varying more black currantty there quite black currantty on the palate I'm kind of young it's got those aromas you only really seem to get with young pinot noir there's a little bit of spice i suppose quite acidic tingliness that could be some kind of tannic influence but i'm not exactly sure maybe i'm getting confused with that slight sort of tanginess of uh of being relatively young and there probably is some tan in there that grilled fruit <laughs> what the hell is that has settled down now and i'd say we're coming more into black currant territory and there's a little bit of possibly something like licorice there there is a bit of a tannic twang something very slightly spicy so yeah it's one of those kinds of sort of black currant tangy sort of thing going on there. It's okay, not providing me with the <laughs> consolation I feel I need after my beloved wine prongs broke on me just now, sitting here in the gloom. But, you know, what do we expect for 2021s? I'm, you know, this is the sort of thing that it may well be fine in a year or two's time, or perhaps more, I don't know. I'm getting a little bit of that struck match sort of note now, which is an unusual thing to find in Burgundy. I have occasionally encountered that in English sparkling is often a disappointment for me personally, but what do you call it, volatile organic compounds. And it's not of the really egregious type where it goes sort of, you know, horribly sulfury, eggy or whatever, but it is that sort of match head kind of sulfur. Yeah, that's definitely there. Mm, yeah, not really enjoying that, <laughs> to be honest. Oh well. 